Hi, I'm Florian Breuer from Stellenbosch University and I want to explain my article to you. Welcome to my article, Explicit Dwindfeld Moduli Schemes and Abyanka's Generalized Iteration Conjecture, which is to appear in the Journal of Number Theory. Now the title is quite a mouthful, so I'm going to start with the second half of the title, about Abyanka's Generalized Iteration Conjecture, since the statement of this conjecture can be explained to pretty much anybody who knows a bit of Galois theory. So, we will put ourselves into the following situation. Let K be a field containing FQ and pick R algebraically independent symbols, which I'm going to denote T, G sub 1, G sub 2, up to G sub R minus 1, and consider the field big K, which is little k adjoining these R algebraically independent things. So this big K is just an algebraic function field of transitance degree R. Okay, the notation seems a little bit funny, but it's going to become clear why I actually have different names for these various symbols. Now what we do is we make the following polynomial. I'm going to call it phi sub t of x, and I'm going to use the symbols as its coefficients, and the only exponents of x that appear will be powers of q, so that this polynomial is fq linear, which means that its set of roots forms an fq vector space of dimension r. As a result, its Gawa group has to be a subgroup of the general linear group of FQ. And in fact, a theorem due to E.H. Moore, which dates back to 1896, states that in fact the Gawa group is as at large as it's allowed to be. So the Gawa group is in fact GLR of FQ. Abyanka saw this and he wondered if it's possible to come up with another polynomial and get a larger Gawa group, something like GLR of a finite extension of FQ. And he had a very clever idea how to achieve this. So here's his idea. Start with a polynomial, I'm going to call it n, n0 plus n1t plus and so on, in the polynomial ring fqt. I'm going to call that ring a. And now what I do is, everywhere I see a t, I'm going to replace it with a phi sub t of x, and a t squared is going to be replaced by phi sub t composed with phi sub t and so on all the way up to t to the d is now replaced by phi sub t composed with phi sub t composed with and so on d times. So that we now get a rather large polynomial and what Abianka conjectured is that its Galois group is in fact fqt modulo the ideal generated by n. So in particular if n is an irreducible polynomial we really do get glr over a larger finite field without increasing the base field. So some special cases of this conjecture have been proved over the last few years. But what I want to tell you about today is that this conjecture is in fact a theorem now, and the proof is in this article. The first insight is that this phi that we have created is in fact a rank R Dwinfeld A module over the field K. So what we now have is our splitting field Kn. That's nothing other than K adjoin the N torsion module of this Dwinfeld module phi. And one way to prove this is as follows. So let's look at this field diagram that I've drawn here. K is at the bottom, Kn is on the left, and what we are trying to achieve is to show that this here is the correct Galois group. That's our goal. So what I'm now going to do is look at the right arm of this field extension. So on the one hand we've got Kt over K, and by Moore's theorem we already know this is GLR of FQ. And if you now look at this Galway extension here, ktn over kt, then what it should be is this following group, which I denote g sub rn. So that's basically glr of a modulo tn, the kernel of that under reduction modulo t. That's what it's supposed to be, and if we can prove this, then we are done. That is our plan. The key insight is that this group grn that we're looking for has been seen before. In fact, it's the Galois group of an etalomorphism between Dwinfeld moduli schemes. So let's denote by MTNBR the fine moduli scheme for rank R Dwinfeld A modules with level TN structure over the ring B, which is just A, where we've inverted the level TN. Then the forgetful factor gives us a map from the moduli space of level TN down to the moduli space of level T. And this map is etal with Galois group GRN. This was proved by Dwinfeld in the 1970s. In order to use this insight, what we need is an explicit description of these Dwinfeld moduli schemes. And that's the first main result of this article. 
It's a theorem which gives an explicit construction of the Struenfeld moduli scheme for level Tn. This is a generalization of a similar description given by Richard Pink in the case of level T. Now, I will not explain what all the notation on the right means. For that, you'll have to read the article. The second main result in this paper is another description of the same Drinfeld modular scheme as follows. You take B and you join to it ratios of T and torsion points of this particular Drinfeld module phi that I've young constructed. The spectrum of that is our moduli space. Now, more generally, one proves that this is true for any Dwinfeld module phi, which is sufficiently generic. Now, what exactly sufficiently generic means is something you'll find out if you read this paper. So what this tells us is we get a Galois group of an extension of function fields of these Dwinfeld moduli schemes. So if we denote by ktn naught the function field of our Dwinfeld moduli scheme over the rational function field f, which is just fqt, then we can draw this diagram of field extensions. On the left-hand side, we have the extension ktn naught over kt0. And because these are the function fields of the Drinfeld moduli schemes, Drinfeld's theorem tells us the Galois group here is our favorite group, grn. What we would like to show is that the Galois group on the upper right arm, the ktn over kt, is the same group. Then we would be done. In order to show this, one would have to show that the field kt does not intersect the field ktn naught. Well, the intersection would have to be kt0. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do this directly. What I can do, however, is I can analyze this a little bit more. So I'm going to consider the fixed field inside this function field ktn naught of the group srn, which is just grn intersected with a special linear group slr. Then this extension here is g1n. So in order to study this, one needs to understand this fixed field. And for that, one uses Anderson's determinant morphism from Drinfeld modular schemes of rank R down to Drinfeld modular schemes of rank 1. One can obtain a similar description of fields over here. So once again, over there, one can get a field extension with Galois group G1n. Now this is a result due to Carlitz. This is basically just the n torsion of the Carlitz module, because what happens here is doing for modules of rank 1. Then we look at this extension over there, and its Galois group is in fact cyclic, cyclic of order prime to q, which is the same case over here. So really the complication is that kt over kt0 is not a trivial extension, it's not purely transcendental, but it's actually a finite extension, it's cyclic. Now, finally, what we need to do is we use a little bit of group theory, namely, this group SR of n is extremely non-abelian. So in particular, it has absolutely no intersection with C, so that the intersection of this field here with our function field there is just that. As a result, this extension over here is in fact SRn, and the result follows. So finally, we get that this extension over there that we wanted is grn. In order to get that, we have used quite a few ingredients. So we've used Drinfeld's theorem on the Gawa group of the Yatal morphism of Drinfeld modular schemes. We have used Anderson's determinant map on Drinfeld modular schemes from rank R down to rank 1. We have used Carlitz's theory, which basically gives the, the group G1n there, which is the Gawa group of cyclotomic extensions. We have used more determinants in this as well. So there are quite a few ingredients in common, including, of course, a little bit of group theory, which uses the basic principle that the group GLR is extremely non-abelian. So if you're interested in the details of this, please do read my article. Thank you very much for listening.